be the talk that I would normally give on the final uh, evening of Taster Days. Uh, as is fairly obvious, we haven't done Taster Days. Um, however, we hope that the videos and the Zoom chat and various other things that we've put in place should have taken the place of quite a lot of the things that the students do during that time. Um, I recognise that transition is exciting, but often quite an anxious time for both students and for their parents, uh, which is why we've put such a thorough programme together. Um, we want to try and make this process as smooth as possible, but we also understand that there will perhaps be still questions. I would ask that if you can possibly go back and revisit some of the videos that we've put together, you may well find the answers to some of those questions without having to contact us. But please do feel free to email us if necessary, uh, because we'd hate for you to go through the summer worrying about things that, that are really something we can solve. Um, coming on to communication or, or elaborating on communication, it's very important to us. I think one of the fears that parents, uh, as their children transition into secondary school, have is that we, as secondary school teachers or as secondary schools in general, um, don't have the same sort of contacts. Now, I do understand that because we don't stand on the gates and we don't have the playground uh, chats that often you have at primary school. However, I, I believe personally that our communication is second to none. Uh, the vast majority of emails are answered within 24 hours. Um, doesn't mean we'll necessarily have a solution to that uh, problem or, or query, but we will certainly communicate with you to let you know that we've acknowledged it uh, and then we'll be looking into a solution for you. Um, this sort of brings me on to another point which, which uh, I've had raised to me about social media. Um, obviously, the internet and social media can be a wonderful thing to keep in touch with people. However, it does have its downsides. We do find that there's quite a lot of miscommunication that occurs as a result of parents and children seeking answers elsewhere from friends uh, who probably mean well, but obviously don't have the inside track, if you like. They don't know what's going on at school and they then create uh, things for themselves. Uh, we hope we've given you lots and lots of information, we've been very transparent, we've given you as much as we can, uh, bearing in mind that government guidance changes and has changed since we've started this process. Um, but I just urge that you contact our transition email uh, as opposed to getting involved in lots of chats and things, just because we, we will give you the honest truth, we will give you the answer as much as we know it, as far as we can. Um, and therefore, we've, we've not got this problem with miscommunication. I think also, there is a tendency for quite a lot of people to become a little bit overwhelmed with the number of messages going backwards and forwards on social media sometimes. Um, and I think that is also another concern I would have about some of the children. I do appreciate they haven't had an opportunity to get to know their new classmates or their new form mates or their new, just generally, the other 299 other children in the year group uh, in the same way. However, I can assure them and you that as they come up in September, we intend to almost replicate some of the uh, work that we've done. We also look to uh, create an environment where we can um, get to know each other in a safe way. Um, and we'll just, I just ask them to just wait and, uh, and just keep communicating with the friends they have. Uh, and then they'll soon get to know their new friends and their new form mates in September. Um, so please, if I can just ask that you just communicate with us as opposed to going through social media, I, I really appreciate it. And that also goes for really when, when the children actually join us in September as well, because we, we're we very, very keen to keep that communication up. It's extremely important to us. Um, just moving on, once your child does begin with us in September, um, your first point of contact will normally be the, the tutor. Um, now at the moment, we've got a number of new tutors, which is very exciting for the team. Uh, they'll be learning about the school uh, as your son and daughter does. Uh, we also have quite a lot of experience on the team as well, so it's a really good mix. Their details, their uh, email um, and obviously the school number and things will come out uh, in due course and will also be noted by your child in their planners on the first couple of days in September. So that gives you a port of call, if you like, for any sort of uh, questions or queries that you have about the children. For any more pressing matters, then of course, please contact the, the uh, lower school email address when they start in September. Um, and by all means, you know, we can arrange a meeting if, if we need a longer chat about that. If it's a subject, subject specific query, then we do ask that you contact the uh, subject teacher themselves, who would normally have first hand experience of what the question is that you have and will be able to handle your query in a bit more of an efficient way. Um, but again, let me reiterate, if you, if you need a meeting, please do plan that in advance because uh, unfortunately, we're unable to um, you know, drop everything and come to meet you at reception 
Uh, it's not always very straightforward for us to do that. Uh, having said that, we have a fantastic team in the lower school office. We have Mrs. Derbyshire, as our, uh, who's a very experienced member of staff who uh, is in charge of our administration. Um, and then we also have Mrs. Pittock as our student support officer, who is extremely experienced with dealing with all sorts of different issues. I haven't found one yet that she's been unable to sort out. Um, so I'm sure that your child will feel very comfortable with asking them questions. Uh, in addition, um, Mrs. Pittock, fortunately for us, is a non-teaching member of staff and therefore is more likely to be able to handle any sort of and very urgent queries that come uh, to us on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, our aims for our students at Inchbrook is ultimately to ensure that they become the best version of themselves possible, um, both in the sense of their academics, of course, it's very important, but equally also as citizens of the world. Um, it's extremely important to us that they have an understanding of where they fit uh, and that they know that there is a big wide world out there and that really the, uh, you know, that is their oyster, if you like. So they'll, they'll be able to go out there and hopefully um, you know, do the best that they can in society. Uh, on the first day as well in, um, of the school, they will also be completing a number of activities. Uh, they'll be spending time with their new tutor and their new form. Uh, first thing in the morning, they're going to be met uh, outside the food court, which is the large pink roofed building. I have mentioned that in every Zoom meeting that I held uh, over the last week or so. Um, but if you, oh, we'll obviously, we'll also be sending out some communications to you, but that is the key point on that first day. They will come in through any of the three entrances to our school. They'll be met by a member of staff or members of staff, and they will be directed towards the food court. So that's where they'll meet their form group and their tutor. So hopefully that you know, eases a few concerns that I know a lot of people have on their first morning. Um, so yes, if they aim to get to school by about 8.35, uh, which is when our first bell will ring, then that will be a great thing to do and they'll be able to make their way to the food court, as I said. Um, we really do hope that you do ha manage to have a fantastic summer break. Um, I appreciate for some people it's going to be a bit more challenging than others. Um, and, and most of all, we look forward to meeting your child and I'm sure you in due course in the new year. Thank you very much for watching. And now I'd like to hand over to our school principal, Mr. Mark Pitson. Dear New Year 7 Henching Brook students, we are really looking forward to seeing you coming to Henching Brook in September. We're sorry not to see you this term actually, but please don't worry about that, everything will be fine. Hinchingbrook, as hopefully you know, is a really good school. But you know what? I think you can help us make it even better. Here's what I'd like from you as the principal of the school when you come. First of all, positive and friendly. Come with a smile on your face. Happy to be HBK, that's really important. Second, get involved from day one. This is, remember, your school. Do your bit, make a difference, we know you can. Third, work your socks off. We know that hard work is the most important thing anybody can do to help them do well. So it's really important that you come ready to work really hard. And finally, of course, follow the rules. Do what we ask of you first time, every time, with a smile on your face. If you do that, everything will go really, really well. I know I can say on behalf of everybody, Mr. Milner, Ms. Pittock, your form tutor, your teachers, and all of the staff at the school, including me, we will do everything we can, year sevens, to help you to be both happy and really successful at Hinchingbrook. That's what we want for you. We can't wait to see you in September. Have a great summer.